Welcome. Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. As you know, I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology. My WhatsApp number is 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online BMS classes. Today, we are going to continue the clinical examination with relation to the skin problem patient. And now, last video was regarding the history taking, and this is about the direct physical examination of the patient, physical examination about the skin problem. So let us see uh, what that particular problems, how we can uh, diagnose, how we can see the different things in the skin problem. Number one, initial clinical impression. When we see the patient, what is our first reaction? Does the patient looks like an ill patient, very sick patient? Number one, so you have to just judgment. It's a ju part of judgment. We are we have not seen any pulse, temperature, vital signs. No, just what is our impression? Whether he is looking really, really serious, ill, or it is something moderate type of the uh, response. Okay, how is the patient's temperament after talking with him? Whether he looks to be anxious, whether he is a calm personality, or whether he is a hot tempered person, because. Mental stress is one of the important factor in any skin problem because skin, many, many, all the problems are like, what you can say, they are like the psychosomatic illness except some bacterial infections or emergencies in the skin problems. Okay. Full skin examination. Four components are there. Number one, when we talk about skin, it is not only the skin, but there are the part and parcel of the skin element that is skin. Number two, hair on the scalp as well as on the body. Nails, you have to check the nails. And scalp to toe, head to toe examination for getting idea about any systematic or systemic disease or systemic problem. Then you have to do uh, what you can say the inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation. You have to use your stethoscope, examining the chest, examining the lungs sound, inspiration, expiration, examine the heart sound. Each and every part we have to do. See the pedal edema, is there any, see the hepatomegaly, splenomegaly. You have to look all these things, okay, even for the skin problem. Then, cardinal features of examination regarding the skin problem. Number one, type of the lesion. Number two, shape, S-H-A-P-E, shape of the individual lesion. Arrangement of the lesions, if there are many. Only single lesion, yes, it is very easy to diagnose. Then, distribution of the lesion all over the body, where it is more, where it is less. Then detailed discussion of all these points is I'm going to make with you in a further slides. Characteristic of individual lesions, not feature of the individual lesion. Now, there are basically two types of the lesion. One sector, one part is called as the primary lesions and secondary, they are called as secondary lesions. So primary lesion and secondary lesion. In the primary lesion, this left side, you can see macule, I'm going to discuss what is macule, papule, nodule, plaque, vesicle, and wheel. These are the types of primary lesion. And when I say secondary lesion, it can be erosion, ulcer, fissure, eschar, scratch, and excoriation. So all these are type of the secondary lesion. But these are all connected terms with the skin pathology or skin problems. Now, primary lesion. Let us start. This is the first level is a flat at the level of the skin, flat lesion, flat, uh, there is something, no elevation or no depression, not up, not down, at the level of skin. That is called as a macula when it is less than one centimeter. If there is a patch less than one centimeter, then it is called as a macula. But when it is a larger than one centimeter, then that flat surface is called as a patch. So there is a difference, macula and patch. This is this particular macule or patch circumscribed and flat lesion. Flat is what is important. Differs from the surrounding. Uh, then how you will say how we can identify that there is a skin problem. Because there is a different color. Maybe shape will be different. May have some scaling on that. So by that way you can understand. Okay, okay. This is something your skin problem. Then primary lesion causes. This lesion is flat. F-L-A-T. No elevation, no depression. Causes, number one, like hyperpigmentation in the melasma. Some photos are there, interesting photos. 
then hypopigmentation less, melanin is less. That is the Shvitra in Ayurveda, that is vitiligo. Then vascular abnormalities like port wine stain. These all skin problems we are going to discuss in different videos. Okay. Capillary dilatation like erythema or it is can be a part of inflammation. Extra vascate, vasated, extra vasated red blood cells that is RBCs coming out of the blood vessels that is perperial petechi. Perperial petechi. Okay. Another example is venous stasis. When the varicose veins are there, venous stasis can create some ulcer. Deposition, like tattoo, you know the tattoo. You uh, Many youngsters, they make a tattoo. This is also, it gives some pigmentation that is flat at the level of skin. You can see here. This is melasma. Can you see butterfly appearance? Melasma. This is the flat at the level of the skin, flat. Then this is vitiligo. It is a deficiency of melanin. It is not actually a disease. It is not contagious. Lot of misunderstandings are there. I have the separate videos on vitiligo. Okay. Then this is the most important in modern science. It is called the PUA therapy. PUA. Sorelin and ultraviolet rays. Sorelin is a tablet. Ayurveda is also using the Bakuchi. Bakuchi. It contains the sorelin. Okay. So this is vitiligo. Next here you can see port wine stain. This is example of erythema, red color, but flat lesions are there. Now primary lesion, same. What is perperial petechi? RBC is extra vasation from the blood vessel. And this is, you can see the tattoo. Uh, this is also a flat lesion. Now we are going further. Next step, that is raised, raised space occupying substance or cells are palpable. You can see, ah, okay, something is there coming up than the skin level. So that is called as a first was macule. This is papule. Papule means up. Papule is up. Small, one to five, five millimeter. Plaque. Plaque is a larger, big. Plaque, larger surface area, more than five mm. Surface is greater than the depth. Surface, convexity is more than the concavity. Surface is more, okay. Nodule, still bigger, nodule. Larger, greater than five mm. But nodule is always deeper. What is the difference in plaque and nodule? Plaque is deeper and sorry, plaque is a more having more surface than depth and nodule is deeper than the surface area. Nodule having the roots uh, deeper. Tumor even larger. Even larger than nodule is called as a tumor. Sometimes exophytic. Next. What are the causes of this elevated type of the pathology in the skin? The occupying substance or cell palpable, number one, inflammation. There may be wheels or heaves. There may be lupus. Proliferation. Epidermal proliferation, like for example, veruca melanoma. Then there is squamous cell carcinoma. Then there is dermal proliferation, like for example, keloid, mycosis, fungoids. Some terms are a little bit difficult. Some terms are also not common. But as a, as a theoretical part, you must remember these particular terms and these particular examples. Some problems we are going to discuss definitely in very detail. For example, these hues, I am going to show you the a picture of that. Keloid is also very common, very common. Then subcutaneous, there may be lipoma. Then we are talking about proliferation. Then there is a deposition, that is xanthoma. Okay. So you can see the papule, plaque, nodule, this type of elevated lesions. Here you can see the arctic area, hues are there. These are the hues. This is melanoma. Then this is a keloid, maybe after surgery. This is palmer xanthoma. Can you see over here? Xanthoma. Okay. Primary lesions. Now we are talking third type. Third type, that is fluid field. In that particular, uh, what you can say, the content, there is some fluid inside, like a cyst. You know the cyst. So these are, but in skin problem, they are called as the vesicles. Vesicles contain clear fluid or it contain blood field. So when they are blood field, that is called as a hemorrhagic vesicles. Hemorrhage is there, hemorrhage, blood coming out. These vesicles are less than 5 millimeter diameter. Okay. Now next, bulla. Vesicle, then bulla. What is the difference in vesicle and bulla? Bulla is greater than 5 mm diameter. So that is a larger than vesicle. Then pustule is different. Pustule contains not clear fluid. Pustule contain pus. Pustule contain pus. It may be white. It may be yellow in color. 
filled with pus so it is called as a purulent they contain neutrophil cells of this is a type of white blood cell eosinophil cells now level of blisters that is separation within epidermis or between epidermis and dermis or it may be dermal so these blisters can also occur as a fluid filled type of lesion so here you can see primary lesions fluid filled which are those examples are there infection viral infection herpes zoster or herpes simplex okay hypersensitivity reaction like poison of iv a typical type of plant physical for example friction heart heartburn then sunburn is also common immune bullous pemphigoid then genetic here you can see epidermoisis bullosa then there is a metabolic and other problem also with the fluid field but these are very rare genetics now here you can see herpes here you can see the fluid field lesions then bullous pemphigoid bullous pemphigoid then sun burn blisters sun burn blisters and this is poison iv poison iv can you see the vesicles fluid field secondary lesions we have completed the primary lesions what is scaling scaling is altered stratum corneum scaling is altered stratum corneum abnormal keratinization okay crust what is crust oozing serum with which afterwards dries red if it is red crust is red then hemorrhagic crust it is called as a hemorrhagic crust yellow often sign of staphylococcus aureus infection that is honey colored like honey erosions what is erosion these are all definitions the students must remember okay superficial disruptions or loss of epidermis it is called erosion especially this occurs after vesical roof burst that is erosion you can see the skin scaling is over here scaling then these are the crust these are the crust then here you can see the skin erosion this particular you just look for the cursor skin erosion then this is skin ulcer there is a different erosion and ulcer then excoriation because of the scratching excoriation and here you can see the plantar fissure okay secondary lesions continued ulcers deep loss of skin usually into the dermis or subcutaneous fat for example due to ischemia less blood supply pressure of the tumor or maybe infection ulcer may be because of infection excoriation erosion or ulcer caused by scratching Uh, that is excoriation fissure linear split linear split in the skin for example due to inflammation or dryness next the atrophy thinning or wasting of one or all layers of skin atrophy in the epidermal region that is because of the sun induced or because of the steroids like prednisolone vicolon uncontrolled use of the steroid this is dangerous steroid is a magic pill having the hundreds of benefits and hundreds of complications so be careful while using prednisolone or vicolon type of the steroids okay dermal dermal atrophy because of the aging process senile old people then subcutaneous atrophy because of some injections for example here you can see the skin atrophy with the aging process steroid this is you can see steroid induced skin atrophy steroid induced now next topic is the shape of the individual lesion how is the shape of that particular skin problem whether it is a annular annular shape is common in tinea corporis that is the fungal infection or ring worm infection tinea word is indicating ring worm tinea word indicating fungal infection most important forget about tinea corporis but tinea crinis which which is in the groin region tremendous itching to rhinitis fungal infection more over time but this tinea corporis doesn't have much type of the uh, uh, what you can say the itching or the pruritus okay as next is rc form linear that is epidermal nevus then umbilicated some skin problems are having umbilicated so one dot at the center that is molluscum some has the oval shape so these are the shapes of the individual lesion here you can see the tinea corporis annular then linear epidermal nevus epidermal nevus then molluscum contagiosum having here you can see at the center like umbilicus so this is called as umbilicated okay umbilicated 
arrangement of the multiple lesions, whether they are isolated, whether they are scattered, whether they have the group, then herpetiform like uh, HSV, then linear, poison IV, etc. Distribution of the lesion, extent of involvement, whether they are circumscribed, whether they have the local region, whether they general all over the body or whether they are universal. Pattern, whether there is a symmetry, right side, left side, symmetry, exposed areas, not wearing the clothes, exposed areas only, site of pressure, where the pressure is coming, then intrigenous areas, like for example, inguinal region, then follicular, where the hairs are there, follicular pattern, okay, then characteristic location, whether it is on the flexure surface, whether it is on the extensor surface, palms and soles, derma, dermatomal, according to the nerves and exposed areas, etc. So my dear friend, this was a, again a second part of clinical examination for the skin problems with relation to the physical examination. I have covered the history taking. I have completed in this video physical examination. In the next video, I will talk about the investigations for the skin problems. If you have any type of the health problem, our Ayurveda Academy team has a multiple group of doctors having the physicians, then gynecologists, pediatricians, neurologists, psychologists, all these people are there. So always you are welcome to take the help of us with the uh, WhatsApp 9226810630. Also, in various videos, if I explain any medicines, don't forget that disclaimer, I am making a disclaimer that Konsibi Bimari mein yathavashya kathakal vaidhya ke salah lena jadruot hai. Milte hai isi tarah se achche achche video se tab tak krupa kar ke aap like aur share kar dijiye aur mera channel subscribe bhi kar dijiye. So aise aise achche achche videos mein bana de rahunga aur mere ko energy bhel jayegi. तो मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में तब तक स्वस्थ रहे और खुश रहे